while I was away on vacation, uh, uh, I spent a lot of time away. In fact, the longest amount of time I've spent away from my channel, uh, away from social media in a really, really, really long time. Okay, like I spent a lot of time, my lovely imps, away from the internet generally. And one of the things that, uh, uh, that, that I realized is that all of this is bullshit. All of it. It's all a bunch of bullshit. And uh, that might not make a lot of sense to you, but I think it will in a second. Um, while I was gone, okay, before I left, I was at an all-time low. Like, when I say, like, with regard to how I felt about streaming, um, the final stream that I did was one of the hardest streams that I've ever, like, had to push through. Uh, barring one time when I was in actual physical pain and I felt like I needed to finish the stream because that's what I wanted to do, um, that was probably pretty hard. Um, that was the time that I ended up going to the hospital. Um, but uh, the stream before I left was like mentally and emotionally uh, one of the most draining streams I've ever done. And uh, not because anything was particular, anybody that I was dealing with was particularly bad. I love my imps. You guys are all amazing. And uh, I quite liked having the conversation that I did with Ryan Beard. Um, and it was just, I, I did like, th I got caught up in a drama and in some ways, uh, I had intended to, in a little, in, to a certain degree, like I chose to comment on this video by a video essayist. Many of you will remember it. It was a really bad video essay in my opinion. Um, I... Uh, I, I had commented on this because it made me really mad. And I was stuck in this position of wanting to talk about something that made me really mad and also uh, feeling incredibly, incredibly stressed out by uh, touching on uh, this sort of interspace drama that I feel is uh, largely incredibly, incredibly wasteful uh, I think you guys will probably recall one of the things that I said is that this shit sucks, that it's boring, that it's not fun, that it's absolutely soul draining. It's like licking the bottom of a goddamn trash can, a trash can that's inside of another trash can that's equally dirty and you're licking the bottom all the way until your tongue breaks through and touches the bottom of the other trash can. Um, you guys probably remember me saying that type of thing. Um, and uh, it's true. I hate it. I actually hate it so much. I hated it so much that I was, I burnt out like really, really hard. And I had burnt out, um, I was already hitting burnout like before some of the other stuff, but 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 like the drama stuff and then um, the, the like conversation where uh, everything was misrepresented to me and then the following conversations after that where it was just constantly going back to, it made me feel like shit. It actually made me feel uh, so bad that I can't even properly explain it to you. I don't even know how to put words to the feeling of how bad it made me feel. Um, but it made me feel so bad that I've actually um, struggled. This stream is kind of a miracle. The reason why I did it off the cuff on such short notice was because uh, I've, I've been feeling like shit about, uh, I've been nervous and I've been anxious about coming back to stream. And, and that's why we're gonna be doing things differently um, from now on. Um, and I've said that before, and to a certain degree, um, we've made a lot of changes to this channel. You guys, those of you who've been with me for a really, really long time, um, know that I've made a lot of changes to my content over the years, like significant amount of changes, that my show has continued to evolve and change and go in different directions. And in my opinion, it's only gotten better. Um, but uh, it needs another push. Uh, when, while I was on my trip, something that I was thinking about is that I haven't done a gaming stream with you guys since the myhouse.wad stream, which was like one stream. 
And before that, we did Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which was like two streams. And before that, it had been a really long time since we'd done any gaming streams. Um, and that makes me sad because I love gaming. Gaming is like something that makes me really happy. It's something I'm passionate about. I have deep thoughts about games. I have been playing games my whole life. I have artistic opinions. I have, you know, a lot of opinions. I've played a million different games. I've taught myself how to beat really hard games, all this shit. Like games are really important to me and we've barely done any gaming streams. And part of the reason is because I kept feeling like, um, I don't know, like I wasn't supposed to be doing them. Like I needed to be doing, um, like, I don't know, like I was supposed to be doing something else. And uh, I, I have begun to feel all of these strange obligations piling up with regard to stream. Um, and it makes me sad. The fun has been sucked out of streaming in a lot of ways. And a lot of it is my fault for uh, how I've chosen to structure my stream. Um, though I will admit that there was a, uh, a uh, corrupting influence that comes in the form of um, YouTube, the pressure of YouTube and whatever. Um, is it that you feel guilty? Um, yeah, in some ways there is a lot of guilt, uh, but also there's this thing. When I first started streaming, um, like, I I was much more bold about the way that I went about things. And as time has gone on, as the, as the result of some really deranged things that have happened and a bunch of other stuff, I found myself becoming more and more guarded in the way that I stream uh, and more paranoid about what I'm streaming about. Y you guys ever seen uh, Bo Burnham's Inside? If you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. In Bo Burnham's Inside, there is a segment where he starts by singing a little song and then he pauses the song and then he reacts to himself singing the song in real time. And then at the end of that one, it immediately begins a third reaction, him judging his own reaction. And then another one starts and it's him judging his reaction to the reaction. And, and he, the entire time he's basically cutting into himself and being like, oh yeah, I could have done this better. And it's layered like eight layers deep, this recursive like, oh yeah, well maybe your reaction wasn't good. And oh my God, uh, it drives you insane. And I hate it. And the drama shit, this uh, weird fucking nonsense that doesn't fucking matter at all, that fucking mean uh, uh, bullshit uh, is the worst because it preys on the fact that I do actually care about a lot of people in this, these spaces, these spaces. I care a lot about a lot of these people and I care about the subjects at hand. And as a result of that investment, it's like, um, I feel like I can't, t I can't just react with my own opinions. I can't just say what I'm feeling and thinking. I also have to consider how what I'm saying and thinking will have an effect. And then I need to consider whether I'm actually saying and thinking about things in the correct way to begin with. And so what it creates is it makes this it's made a lot of the type of content that I've found myself doing uh, dreadful to make. Uh, it feels horrible and I feel, I, I feel like I can't do this. I feel like I can't be demon mama. I have to be like super responsible and all this shit on behalf of a lot of other people. But at the end of the day, guys, um, we live in a world where conservatives in real time are fucking uh, right, rewriting reality to the degree that they think, like they're genuinely convinced that tomorrow there's going to be a new lockdown where you won't be allowed to leave your house so that the Democrats can build a 15 minute city around you while you're locked inside. They're convinced that that already happened to them before, even though 
uh, there were never any meaningful lockdowns in the United States. There was so, like uh, short periods of shelter in place when the when COVID was spreading like super super bad. They're convinced that like right now Joe Biden is planning to bar your doors shut with nails like it's fucking pathologic too. Like you're going around and nailing people in, and they're like ah ah, and then you get a flamethrower, and that is Joe Biden, dark Brandon with his sunglasses about to burn down your house with a fucking flamethrower. So pardon me if I don't feel like a lot of this uh, stupid nonsense on the internet really doesn't matter to that degree. And yet some of it does, which is the thing that drives me crazy because there's real people actually being hurt by it. And it's, it's, it's maddening. It drives me motherfucking crazy, okay? It drives me insane. So, um, I want to have more fun. I want to talk more about shit that I care about. And you guys know, I, uh, don't really cover discourses all that much anymore. I don't really do a whole lot of drama outside of Drama Mamas, which will be continuing because, uh, part of the reason, um, a part of the reason that I do Drama Mamas is specifically because Drama Mama is supposed to be about things that are bigger than any single space. They're supposed to be big issues where people are actually, where the information is actually important. We covered the Bethesda discrimination situation. That is really important. We covered Miranda Sings, a literal Nickelodeon star who previously had shows in nearly every city in America in the upcoming year, uh, uh, grossly abusing fans. We've covered, uh, we've covered uh, really, really, I mean, God, what was the one before that? The Illuminati situation, which admittedly ended up uh, coming pretty close to this space. But you guys will notice that um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time uh, fixating on how Illuminati a a a engaged with this space. Instead, I deliberately went out of my way to focus on how Illuminati uh, engaged with her fans, how Illuminati engage with her employees and her, her co-collaborators. Um, and <sighs> the anti-work one, there are so many different things um, that I've really tried to change, um, but I realize I need to try harder because um, uh, it, it doesn't, it, that's, stuff is it just hurts everybody um and that doesn't mean there's never going to be a time i'm not going to talk about something i'm sure i will but i found myself feeling an incredible amount of responsibility because a bunch of people that i actually care about's feelings and and lives and reputations were on the line for really dumb reasons you know like um like the whole thing with Keffels and the way people have treated Keffels, uh, like it's the behavior is insane. We just gotta call it, and, and you just gotta call the bad behavior insane. And I don't know that I can, I don't know that I can spend a lot of time on that kind of stuff anymore, um, at all. So I'm not going to. I'm really good at talking about political issues, media. Uh, religion. Religion is one where, oh my God, you guys know how crazy good my segments about religion have been. Um, we have so much fun when we're doing random and fun stuff, and that's what I want to do more of. I want to be, I want to bring back the demon in Demon Mama, um, because I think that's important. I think that's like really, really important. Um, it's important for me. Uh, it's, uh, I, uh, <sighs> There's just been a lot. There's just been a lot of stuff that's been really hard to slog through. And uh, this stream needs to be fun. It needs to be more fun. And uh, I need to have fun with it. Otherwise, you guys don't get to see the best of me. I'm, I'm not me when I'm hungry, so to say. And uh, what can I say except that I'm very, very hungry for, for uh, having a good time again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, 
I want to do cool outfits and I want to do uh, fun nonsense and that's what we've been doing. Oh, thank you, Delance. I appreciate that a lot. And, you know, uh, by the way, there's going to be plenty of politics to talk about, you know? Uh, but I, I just... Uh, something that's been really incredible to see. This is, a, I, I, this is connected, I promise. I'm not just going off on another tangent. Something that's been incredible to see has been the rapid and continued rot uh, on social media. Um, and not just Twitter either, but mostly Twitter. Twitter is a place where there's a lot of pol political creators uh, of which I uh, consider myself. Um, but uh, 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 my God, has it gotten really bad? Like, I mean, just so bad. It's, like, it, it doesn't even resemble what it once was. And it's not just there either. It's on blue sky. It's, it's basically everywhere. All of social media is, is more miserable than it's ever been and less impactful than ever. No, none of this, nobody, none of the, the virtue signaling bullshit is changing anything at all. It's not. It's not changing anything. Nobody is is uh, is is fucking changing anything by these endless fucking uh, uh, moronic conflicts on the internet. It sucks so much ass. It's and and uh, and I don't know how. Like I, I I try to look back and go, how the fuck did we get here? But I've been happier for not giving a shit, for not paying attention to it at all, all of it. While I was on the road, I said, fuck this shit. I did, I mean, I got updates for sure, but I wasn't spending time on Twitter. I wasn't keeping up with things as I usually was, and I was happier for it, like a lot happier. And it didn't make any difference. It didn't change anything that I saw on the road, which I'm about to talk about. I'm about to do a, a segment talking about what I saw on my trip and what I learned from my trip, which was incre incredible. Um, but um, we are in a, t a, a strange period of time where uh, there is just an unbelievable uh, a rift in reality between uh, political factions. Um, and uh, uh, the world is tearing apart at the seams. And I uh, don't want to waste my time. I want to do things my way. Uh, I want to do things the demon mama way. I want to make uh, sh stuff that's beautiful and funny and cool. I want to do awesome outfits. I want to do cool, uh, funny nonsense. I want to have a good time with stream. And I think that this is not just me, by the way. Um, I talked about this with uh, you guys. Some of you were here for this. Um, uh, you know, the, the sky burial of the Twitter left. But I think it was actually bigger than that. Um, I think it's, I think that that effect was bigger. Uh, maybe bigger than even I foresaw. I, I even with my oracular vision, uh, my, my ability to foresee the future and outline the absolute idiocy that goes on around us, I could not have foreseen how far things had fallen apart and also how little all of that matters, uh, uh, how little these internecine uh, conflicts and pointless uh, uh, disagreements uh, like actually impact anything at all. Um, yeah. It wasn't doing anything? Well, yeah, that was something that I, I've started to, I started to feel very doomer-pilled about the online left. And I think that's because the online left is kind of a joke in a lot of ways. Um, people have very real beliefs, uh, but they don't know what to do about it. And a lot of the online left has found itself captured in a very weird way, um, captured by social media, where social media is very often a, uh, a, 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 a tool for the capturing and, and quashing of genuine belief and p political thought. And uh, basically what I'm saying is I'm a funny little demon uh, and I have an incredible amount of power when I uh, embrace what is good about this platform. 
I'm an entertainer. We're all entertainers. None of the people who tell you that they're not entertainers, none of those people are telling you the truth. You are in hell and I am the queen of it, okay? You have to understand that. The one thing that you should always appreciate about me is that I have always told you exactly who I am. I'm a motherfucking demon, bitch, okay? I'm crafting hell all around you and we're doing it in a fun way, okay? That's how it goes. None of this, uh, uh, the idea that there's, that, that like, <sighs> I was thinking about uh, a conversation I had a long time ago uh, between about whether or not streaming is inherently performative or not. And of course the answer, and do not ever let anyone tell you otherwise, never, okay? Streaming is inherently performative, no matter what. Even, even a guy who turns on his stream and you can see the stink lines coming off of him because he hasn't showered in six weeks is still performing. That is the nature of this shit. And so I wanna get back to putting on the horns and having a good time and talking about things because I don't think that be just because something is performative uh, doesn't mean that it's not valuable. In fact, I think sometimes it can more be. Just like how you can pull a lesson from a movie or a video game or a, a play. Just like how you can learn things from that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, I don't know, that was a, I don't have much of a conclusion uh, outside of what I've said. Things are gonna be changing around here. I'm gonna be doing more gaming streams. I'm gonna be talking about things that I give a shit about much more often. Uh, I'm going to be talking about drama basically not at all. I don't fucking give a shit. I'm tired of your fucking bullshit. I'm tired of everyone's fucking bullshit. It makes me hate my life. It makes you hate your life. Um, and I won't do it anymore. I fucking refuse. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and and if I decide to talk about uh, things, it's going to be my genuine opinion, and I'm not going to give a shit or follow up and do fucking bullshit anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to pretend like uh, like uh, I I have to cradle everyone or anything like that. Not that I really had to, but um, I, I just don't want to feel like that anymore. So yeah. And well said, Demon Mama. So any ideas for what game you're gonna be streaming first? We're gonna be doing Dark Souls. That's right, I'm announcing it tonight. We are going to play through the entire Dark Souls series. Uh, starting with, I think we're gonna start with Demon Souls, and then we're gonna go Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, uh, Bloodborne, uh, Sekiro, Elden Ring. We're gonna just go right, I'm gonna play them. I'm gonna play them on stream. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because um, these games are games I know really, really well. I'm actually quite good at Dark Souls games, uh, FromSoft games in general. With the exception, I have a bone to pick with Armored Core 6, but we'll get there. Uh, uh, but but yeah, no, uh, and I wanna, sh I wanna share them all with you, and I wanna share my thoughts about them because the Dark Souls games have been incredibly influential on my artistic taste, and I have a lot to say about all of them, and I want to be even Dark Souls 2 on stream. Uh, while I was, um, r right before I left, I was playing through Dark Souls 3 again. Uh, I have beaten Dark Souls 3, like, completely, like, four times. Uh, and I almost got there again. I uh, I had to. We had to leave for my trip, uh, and it just reminded me of why of how much I love Dark Souls Three, and what a beautiful and inspiring uh, artistic experience Dark Souls Three is. So, I have so much to say about it. Um, I mean, I literally have a, a leather bound notebook with the dark sign on it for a reason. Um, God, it is. The Dark Souls games are masterworks, and uh, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be doing that, which is gonna be amazing and awesome. And you guys are gonna have a good time. And by the way, the fact that my return stream is able to bring uh, 350 people, and I don't even, I'm not even remotely talking about any sort of uh, stupid internecine bullshit uh, is a good sign. Um, for a while, I felt myself pressured to constantly comment on everything, and uh, I don't wanna do that anymore. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for being here. Press like and subscribe if you're watching this segment in the future. Uh, I know it was a bit rambly, but fuck you. There you go. Uh, all right. Yeah.